even we can't use move doesn't matter. I mean, we don't even need to. We don't need to rub it in. We don't need to rub it into them. We win. We win without even really playing our cards in round three. Hello everyone. If you are sick of Gwent Sci-Hill Sword decks, then you need to try Northern Realm Shields all. With Queen Meave and Swarm, it's absolutely incredible. The points you can generate is crazy and it is super, super fun. If you haven't seen my previous deck guide on this deck, please do go ahead and watch it because the deck is very, very similar. I have only made a few changes to the bronze cards, so let's go and take a look at the deck. Okay guys, so the changes I have made is I added Pelar and took out Sintrian Envoy. Sintrian Envoy was just there to help with Gauze and Necker, but it's not going to guarantee you get the card you want every time. So I thought Pelar was extremely useful because a lot of people are running Siri Nova because of Gauze and Necker. So Pelar is absolutely amazing at purifying those Siri Novas or anything else if you have if you have a card that's locked you can purify your own unit if it has poison spying anything like that you can give it a purify so this deck can definitely push to win round one we can do this with windhelm an amazing engine who boosts by two if he has shield he has shield to start with if he loses it we can just give him it again with leader or with engineering solution or wyvern skill shield as well now, the dynamic duo of cards, Immortals and Damned Sorceress, is really going to help us push for that round one win. This dynamic duo of cards generates an extra four points each turn, which is really going to help us, along with Ring and other bronze units such as Frigate, we can just play down in round one and we can keep going for a fairly long round one and then go into round two and then have a long round three with Meave and our Swarm units. In round three, we want to throw down Donmia. We want to throw down Queen Meave behind Donmia so that she is protected. And we want to swarm. We want as many units on the board as possible because every three turns when Queen Meave is inspired, she's going to boost all allied units by one, which is amazing. I love this card so, so much. The way that we're going to swarm is with Keldar and Kerak Frigate. Keldar is the main guy here whenever we play a special card or if we have less than four units in hand he will spawn a witcher student on this row and we are going to use the griffin witcher adept to transform these witcher students into more griffin witcher adept and the amazing thing is here that these griffin witcher adepts have shield now it would not be a shield deck without king rogner or king pogner as he is more commonly known this is an amazing finisher. If we are struggling in round one and we have a lot of shield units, we can use him in round one. Or if we're trying to survive in round two, we can use him there as well. But he is an absolutely amazing finisher in round three. You can imagine we can have between five and ten shields on the board. King Pogna removes shields from all units, then boosts himself by three per shield removed. So this is an easy 30 point slam at the end of round three, which is gonna help us with that win. Golden Necker is still really amazing, really helps us. If we're, if we're behind in points, we can just do Golden Necker and that is gonna help us get ahead again. The special cards that we want to pull is Erendite, still absolutely incredible. And with this deck, we do want to try and be ahead in points and that is fairly easy. As I was saying, with the shield unit in round one, it is quite easy to get ahead on points. It could also pull Wyvern Scale Shield or Royal Decree, but we just have to hope that it is going to be Air Indite. And if we do have Wyvern Scale Shield or Royal Decree, try and use them before round three, so that increases the chances of pulling Air Indite. Artifacts are Care Seren, which we want to get Griffin Witcher Adept. However, if we're not planning on doing the Rogner play that round, we can get a Griffin Witcher just for some control with the damage or anything else as well. It's not strict to Griffin Witcher Adept. And for the Order Boost unit in the deck by three, we want to boost Queen Meave because Queen Meave does her countdown when she's inspired. The other artifact is Vile. I would usually go for Vile with Golden Necker. Again, this is just extra points in round three. If we haven't been able to boost Meave, this is a great um, boost for her because she will be targeted quite heavily 
also can use this on Donnia as well. So this is the deck. We have Tall Removal with Erendite and we have Control with Margarita and Pella as well. And other than that, it's a ton of points that we're going to generate and it's super, super fun to play. Um, I hope you guys really enjoy the gameplay. If you are enjoying the video, please do drop a like and subscribe as it really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Let's go and take a look at the gameplay. Hey, another Northern Realm stack. Let's go, guys. Oh, we both have Vile. Damn. That doesn't actually happen that often. From what I've seen. Okay. B -b -b Swap out Erendite. Swap out. Care Seren. I have a Sorceress. We can use Royal Degree to get Immortals, which is fine. Okay, I'm going to keep it like this. Let's start with a cavalry. Should have probably seen what they had in the deck as well. Let's do that next turn. Use cavalry. We can use frigate. Sorceress, we use roll degree to get immortals. We can use shield, ring. Another cavalry. Okay, let's see what they have. Probably witches. Witches, witches, witches. Yeah, witcher spam. Okay. We want to do sorceress here. I'm playing sorceress to the left of cavalry so that we can slot frigate in there next to a soldier. I'm actually going to get Immortals now because they're doing damage and if they ping Immortals that helps us. Oh we take it, yeah we take it with Sorceress anyways. And then it comes back. Yeah so they did, they did get rid of shield and we boosted. And now let's do frigate between two soldiers here. And I'm just gonna give uh, Immortals a shield here with leader, since we do have three leaders. Want to save one for Meave if we can't use Vile or anything else to boost her. And I want to save one for Keldar. So using one here for Immortals or Cavalry is absolutely fine. And because we're ahead, our air indite is getting a nice boost. Look, it's out of four already. And I'm going to take that Griffin Witch's shield. And the... We can do another cavalry here. Okay, Frigate's going to die. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I like their deck though. I like the witches. It's super cool. Let's do... We could do Wyvern Shields. Could do Ring. Could lock one of these. Because they are waiting for their adrenaline. So I am actually going to go ahead and lock one of those. Whilst we wait for our ring to boost a little bit more. Ooh, and they're doing Keldar now. See, we can't do Keldar because we don't have any Griffin Witcher adepts. It would be a bit of a waste. We would miss out on points there if we couldn't transform the Witcher students. There's going to be a battle for round one. I'm prepared though. 
Uh, let's do scale shield on. Let's do it on this cavalry. There we go. I think we're gonna have to commit Ring and Dunmia, but then I think we should be fine. I really hope we don't have to throw in Keldar. I'm not going to. Just depends if they're willing to use all of their cards. Oh, here's Big Boost. Still ahead though. We're still ahead. Okay, there was the big boosts. Now we can do no, I'm gonna do Donmia. No, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Ring because it's on seventeen. And then if we have to, if they don't pass, then we can throw down Donmia. Well, they have seventeen Ring two. Okay. We do Donmia. We do damn sorceress. And we hope that that is enough to make them pass. Come on. What else can they have to reach up? Siri. <sighs> Again, it's going to be a case of it's so close. I can't just pass here. I can't. I would never forgive myself. We're gonna have to commit to Keldar, even though I know it doesn't make sense because we have no Griffin Witches Adept. But I've got to try. I can't just give this round to them after committing so much here. Okay. Damn, 100, 102 points. Yes, okay, it was worth it. We win round one. We win the round. That was a battle. Let's go, guys. Okay, Seren, Pella, Pogna. Gonna be short rounds now, though, which is an issue, but I'm gonna skip and go straight into round three. Let's swap Pella. Meave, yes, okay. Actually, swap care Seren because we've already done Keldar. We need to focus on the frigates for for round three now. We've already done Keldar. Hopefully, we can get golden. Let's see. Griffin Witch of Voimia is good. Windhelm, excellent. Finally seen Windhelm. Uh, we can swap. Witcher. I'm going to keep it like that because obviously the more shields the better for Pogna. I'm going to start with Windhelm, then Meave. Just in case they have Yeet Wave or any locks, I want to uh, try and bait that out with Windhelm. And also Windhelm being an engine, we want to get him down fairly early as well. And if he loses his shield, we can we can give him it again. We have one for one for Meave. And then we have another for Windhelm. Since we didn't have to use one for Keldar. Hey Meave, let's go, my friend. Let's go, Queen. Let's see if she can save the day for us yet again.
That's why I love this deck because it is it is really it has multiple win conditions. You have Meave, you have Pogner, you have Keldai, you have Frigates. It can do well in long or short rounds. This is why I really do think it is really powerful at the minute. Very versatile. And I love it. And I just think playing with the shields is so so fun. I, I can't get enough of it. Okay, what are they gonna do? They're gonna run out of time is what they're gonna do. Now we do Karak Frigate here. Because Windhelm isn't, annoyingly, he isn't a soldier, he's a knight, but we're going to spawn a volunteer here. Okay, they have golden. We didn't actually get golden this, this game. That's only six points. Let's go with Griffin Witcher Adept. And this is good that they have shields because we have Pogna. The only thing is they might have Pogna. But I don't think they will because it's more there so much as we'll see. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end up playing my yeah, I'm gonna play my Pogna first. If I do avoid me now. People usually emote when they're about to do something that messes you over. But this is just a good thing, Witcher. Okay, now we do leader. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shields that Pogna's gonna take. Pogna! Ooh, super Pog. Super, super Pog. Shield wall is gonna be witches. It is. Because we <laughs> we steal their shields as well. We got this. Scyth oh Scythman though. Okay. Okay, no, we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. We've got it guys! Yes! Another victory in the bag, and we did very well against um Northern Realms Witches. You can see, even with a long round one and a short round three, it still does exceptionally well. Okay, finally we have a Skelliger deck and I feel like this will be a Sihil deck that I can finally show you guys um, the, the shield deck going up against. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, we have Sorceress, which is great. Swap Vile, and we have Golden Royal Decree, we can get Immortals from Royal, swap one of the frigates and we get a Siri. Nice. Yeah, so they're going to be boosting up Sihil. We want to boost these if we can. And we have units with shield, which is good because they're going to hit the shields before they hit the damage that they want. Let's start with the cavalry. And yeah, let's boost one of these guys with leader. Uncorrect longship is super annoying. Super, super annoying. <laughs> um, let's go with Dan Sorceress. I don't want to get rid of Kredweni Shield. Oh, it will be six, not four, so that's not too bad. Uh, 
and then we use royal decree to get immortals. So go and get the three, but they're not going to get the four or the five unless they can damage these. You know, I think I might actually, I think I might Royal Decree into Domnia here. Just to protect these, because I really don't want them to get to, to, to five or six. And we can use Sorceress on the Cavalries. Or I could also just lock Hunter. Because he is be, he's going to be what gets these units to four or five. Do you know what? Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, Marguerite is at a five now. It's risky business, guys. It's risky. Okay, they just full on killed that siren. Okay, now we can get immortals. Oh, that's super annoying. It just took the shield. We do that next turn. And then we can do um, Karak Frigate. Next, do Immortals. Oh, Pella, you're going to purify. The realm of the living severed your chain. Abandon now your mortal's fame. Ah, oh, you purified Arjolf. So you can play him again. Sneaky. Sneaky. Oh, that's a four. Not letting them have a four. Not letting them have a four. Not letting them power up Psyhill is what we're doing here, guys. If you guys haven't seen Psyhill, yeah, it's gone back to the deck, so I can't really show you. It will hit a unit by one, two, three, four, five, and then it keeps doing like damage that goes up by one. The twos don't matter because it's already done two. It's already up to two. I think it's up to three. And this is a perfect example of at the end of this round we have Siri. We've used Ring. We could do Pogna if we have to. Let's do Siri. Yeah, Psy Hill's at two. I just look, the points just keep on coming for us guys. Don't really want to do goals in rounds one, if I can help it. Because Aaron died only at three. And we could risk getting Meave. Or Keldar, and we don't really want to here. But we can do if we need to, but for now I'm gonna do ring. I'm gonna do ring on I'm gonna do ring on Margarita because they could damage her and bring her down to four or three, which I is what they need next. I think. Okay, so they need to hit a four. No three. Next they need to hit a four. I don't know that. Okay, that damage is six. Okay, cavalry is just completely gone. I think. I think we keep golden, and I think we do pogna. Well, actually, with with one card, they're not going to be able to catch up anyways. I'm going to do pogna. That way, I know I won't have to use Golden. They can't catch up with one card. There we go. Now, and we save Golden. Hey, yeah! Let's go, guys. And that is what you want to do in rounds one against Psy Hill. You just want to make sure that they don't have those lower powered cards going from one, two, three, four, five to boost up Psy Hill. 
Okay, get rid of air and diet because we have golden. Keep wyvern actually, so then we know that we're gonna get air and diet from golden. Um, we swap Pella, get sorceress. We can just throw down a sorceress here. We don't need sorceress for round three. So you can do sorceress here for a bit of bleeding. I think that shield might be stuck on Siri there. I don't think it's meant to be there. Okay, we got out there on Neuromancy, Freya's Blessing. They're gonna bring back a bronze unit. And great great sword. Okay, let's pass because they're still gonna have to try and catch up to 13. We've got this, guys. We've totally got this against Sihil. Shields is the way to go against Sihil. They're still one point down. And they have Iron Jet. Look at this. Two cards ahead. Two cards ahead for round three. We win round one and we're two cards up for round three. That is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Eldar's good. Me, yes, look at this. Oh, Don me as well. Look how nice this is. This is perfect. I can swap out Wyvern Scale, swap out Pelar. Windhelm as well, nice. There's so, so much that I want to throw down first. I'm going to do Don Mia. Just so Me is safe behind Don Mia. Our Erendite's on 10. Ah, they just killed on the other. Okay, do Windhelm. Bear out any more of that damage. And then we do Meave. We need to save that leader for Meave. Yeah, Sai Hill's at 4. And they then they waste that card. Uh, we've got this, guys. Even we can't use me, doesn't matter. I mean, we don't even need to, we don't need to rub it in. We don't need to rub it into them. We win. We win without even really playing our cards in round three. Against Sihil, Shield Wall, we just smash them in round one. Don't let them boost up their Sihil. And even with the shortest round three, we don't even really play our cards and we and we still win. If you guys are sick of Sihil, please, please give this deck a go. I will leave the deck list in the description down below. Also down there will be the um, link to my Twitch channel. I do stream Gwent Live three times a week, so do check it out. I'd love to see you guys there. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoy. See you guys later.